In this video, we're going to discuss the slotting operation. If you plan to follow along, I'm working with part file 7.8. The slotting operation is a 2D milling operation, so we're going to select slot. From the library, select the provided 3 16th tool that's already been saved within this part. Now, we can move on to the geometry tab where we will define our slots. A slot could be a straight, curved, or made up of a series of lines and arcs. To define the slot, simply select one edge of the contour on the bottom side of the slot. For demonstrational purposes, let's select all three of these slots. With our slotting geometry selected, let's go ahead and select OK to generate the toolpath. Looking at the toolpath in more depth, we can see that the slotting toolpath simply runs the tool along the center line of the slot. Regardless of how wide the slot is, the machine profile is always going to be the width of your cutting tool. So, what would we do if our slot was slightly wider than our cutting tool? Well, we could essentially use the slotting operation as a method of roughing the material away, and then come back in with a contour to finish machine that slot. Let's go ahead and select 2D Contour so we can machine our slot. On the Geometry tab, we can now select each of the contours for our slots. Remember, we want to make sure that the arrow is on the inside of the slot, ensuring that our cutter is machining the inside of the slot. With our geometry selected, select OK. Now, we've run into something that we haven't seen before. The toolpath has a little yellow check mark next to it. The yellow check mark indicates that a toolpath was able to be generated with the given geometry. However, it's not going to run because it collides with the model. To find out what's wrong, right click the toolpath and select show log. Our error indicates that the lead in parameters would cause a collision. Remember, the lead in is where the tool arcs onto the contour. So, if that arc was too big, we're going to be machining into the back side of the slot. Let's go ahead and close out of the message and edit the contour so we can make the appropriate corrections. Lead in and lead out is found on the linking tab. Let's go ahead and turn off the lead in and lead out. Select OK and the toolpath is regenerated. The toolpath has been generated fine because we're no longer colliding with the back side of the slot. Well that concludes our video on the slotting operation and I hope you found it to be of help. 